Hey guys, this is Sam and today we're taking a look at how to jailbreak iOS 8.1.2. We're gonna jump right on into the process and of course the first thing you wanna do just to make sure that nothing goes wrong and if something did, you would have a backup is of course to backup your device to iTunes. Now you can do it through iCloud and that's a possibility but I would highly recommend that you go ahead and click to my computer instead of iCloud because if you do it to your computer it will be a full backup of pretty much all the info on your device so definitely do that if you back up your device, do a full backup on your computer using iTunes. You also need iTunes installed on the device that you're going to be using to jailbreak. So make sure that the PC you're using does have iTunes installed. Once you've backed up to iTunes and you have iTunes installed, you wanna head over to your Chrome or Safari or whatever internet browser you're using to go ahead and type in taiji.com slash en. The slash en is just for the English version if you are a Chinese or I guess international user that knows Chinese. Just do taiji.com, but once that has gone ahead and loaded up, go down to the bottom middle of the screen where you will see a little box to download version 1.2.0 or newer that supports iOS 8.1.2. So go ahead and start the download on that by clicking on the box. It'll take around anywhere from one to four minutes for the download to complete once again, depending on the speed of your internet connection. But I'm gonna to skip to the part where it finished downloading for my computer. And once it's done that, I'm going to do a single click on the file to open it up. And then I'm going to double click on the TIG1021 application in my downloads folder. But if you're on iOS 8.1, it's likely you're gonna get a message that says this. And if you get this message, it's very easy to go around and get the application to work. Simply click on more info right here and then go down to the bottom of the page and then click once on run anyway. And as you can see, just like that, the Tide Jailbreak utility popped right up and it is realizing or understanding the jailbreak environment as I believe it said. Once it's finished that, it's going to tell us that we need to head back over to our device and disable our passcode lock and also find my iPhone under the iCloud preferences. So simply launch up settings, go over to touch ID and passcode. And if you do have a passcode set, you wanna go ahead and disable that. And once you have disabled that passcode, head over to iCloud, scroll down to find my iPhone, and also turn find my iPhone off in case you have it enabled on your device. Of course, it's okay to turn these back on after the jailbreak is completed, but for the jailbreak to work properly, you want those to be off. So now just head back to your computer and on the jailbreak dialog, it should automatically recognize your phone. Just make sure it's plugged in and go ahead and uncheck the green box next to 3K Assistant. This is just gonna install a Chinese-like app store that really you will have no use for. So click on that. Click on the X in the top right corner of the mini window, and from there, you're good to go. Hit the start button to begin the jailbreak process. This is an extremely quick jailbreak. I mean, what can I say? It's pretty much exactly as fast as it was on iOS 8.1.1, but still the speed of the Taiji jailbreak just blows my mind. So I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit for the sake of time in this video. After it's completed, your device will simply restart and you'll find yourself on the slide to unlock screen. So just unlock your phone, slide over on your home screen pages to find the brand newly installed Cydia icon. Once you've located that on your home screen, tap it to launch it up. And Cydia will have to take three to four to maybe even five minutes depending on the speed of your device. Simply to prepare its file, sorry, simply to prepare its file system because there are so many files within Cydia now. So I'm gonna skip ahead past this part once again. Your device will simply respring or it'll do a quick restart if you aren't aware what respringing is. And after that, you're good to go. Slide to unlock, find Cydia on your home screen. And once you've launched Cydia up, for the real time this time, you'll be able to see all your packages, your device info, you can see right here, iOS 8.1.2 on Cydia 1.1.16, I believe. And it's that easy, guys, to jailbreak iOS 8.1.2. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and, of course, subscribe for more content related to jailbreaking. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.